Numerous major studies have been published over the past few years indicating that the chemicals in cannabis have a significant effect on relieving pain in patients. They do this by suppressing nociceptive processing by activation of specific receptors in the body. But why you may wonder, would cannabis have any effect on pain? The answer can be explained with one word, endocannabinoids. As amazing as this sounds, everyone is born with cannabis-like substances. It's called the endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is responsible for energy intake and storage, nutrient transport and metabolism, as well as pain sensation and appetite. These are modulated via endocannabinoid ligands, primarily anandamide and 2-arachidonyl glycerol, or 2-AG. These ligands act on CB1 receptors, which are widely dispersed in the brain, particularly in areas involved in the perception of nociceptive stimuli. These endocannabinoids also interact with CB2 receptors, located in the immune system. There is increasing data indicating that the activation of these peripheral CB2 receptors generates antinociceptive responses, particularly in situations of inflammatory hyperalgesia and neuropathic pain. Both CB1 and CB2 receptors are involved with G protein coupled receptors that are located in the cell membrane. Pain signals are transmitted via the spinothalamic pathway where they are processed and relayed to the thalamus and other cortical areas. This ascending pathway also relays through the periacoductal grey matter, or PAG. Stimulation of PAG leads to an analgesic effect. This pathway is key in the descending inhibition of pain, where cannabinoid receptors are located. However, inhibitory GABAergic cells can restrict the analgesic effect, ascending pain signals at the PAG suppress the pain activity of the GABAergic cells through cannabinoid modulation, thus increasing analgesia. Endocannabinoid ligands that are responsible for the cannabinoid modulation are synthesized in the postsynaptic cell membrane and possess cannabinoid mimetic properties. When one experiences noxious stimuli, it elicits a greater release of endogenous ligands, that is anandamide and 2-AG in the PAG. They are released directly into the synaptic cleft and subsequently bind to the presynaptic neuron, where the cannabinoid receptors are expressed. This binding results in a G-protein activated cascade leading to a reduction of calcium influx, causing a decrease in neurotransmitter release, thus modulating pain. When an individual inhales cannabis, the exogenous cannabinoids travel through the respiratory tract and alveoli and into the circulatory system towards the CNS. These exogenous cannabinoids can cross the blood-brain barrier and exert their modulatory effects on the abundant CB1 receptors. Here, they bind to cannabinoid receptors in the presynaptic neuron and mimic the effects of anandamide and 2-AG by decreasing the influx of calcium. The active component of cannabis, delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol, more commonly known as THC, is responsible for its analgesic effects in both acute and chronic pain. It is known that there is synergism between cannabinoids and other analgesic pharmaceutics in antinociceptive actions. In doing so, health professionals can reduce the dose of administered drugs. This can result in effective pain management with minimal to no side effects. Both cannabinoids and opioid receptors exist at different parts of various pain circuits throughout the CNS. These two components can act synergistically to produce analgesia. More specifically, mu opioid receptors prevent the release of glutamate. Both opioid and cannabinoid receptors act presynaptically to inhibit GABAergic synapses and therefore nociceptive transmission. Alpha-2 adrenergic receptor agonists also display synergism in their modulation of pain. Receptor agonists work presynaptically primarily in the PAG, ultimately inhibiting adrenal cyclase and affect calcium and potassium channels. This leads to the decreased signaling of inhibitory GABAergic neurons. Like mu opioids and CB1 receptors, alpha-2 adrenergic receptors are G-protein coupled. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, also known as NSAIDs, are a class of drug that provide antipyretic and analgesic effects. NSAIDs work by inhibiting enzymes like cyclooxygenase or COX, which has a major role in inflammation and pain. If COX enzymes are not inhibited, it leads to the catabolism of anandamide and other endocannabinoids. Opioids, alpha-2 adrenergic receptor agonists and NSAIDs can each work synergistically with cannabinoids to achieve antinociception. 
One in five Australians, including adolescents and children, and one in three aged over 65, live their lives with chronic pain. With the current body of work showing the therapeutic benefits of cannabinoids in pain treatment, this approach may be a cornerstone in future pain management.